there's also three day trades and a rolling five day trading period that you can do if you have less than $25,000 in your account. And you might not know this, but if you buy, if you enter all like 33 shares in that example, all at once, 33 order market, boom, bam, and now you're in. 33 shares, you're in. You're now allowed to take partial exits. You could take 10 partial exits, but then in and then exit the rest of your trade at the very end, and it will all count as only one day trade. So some of you who are new might not know that. And so you won't have to worry about triggering the pattern day trading rule in that case. And then another thing you can do, let's say you have $10,000, is you can divide that money up amongst like five different accounts, each of them needing five days to get you back your three day trades. And so then you can have a rotating, you could take three trades every day across five different accounts that were like $1,500 each. And you'll be able to day trade every day across five different accounts, each with the pattern day trading rule problem. But then you can day trade every day without getting hit by the pattern day trading rule by rotating between accounts every day. Does that make sense?